Welcome to our new GUI Hangman tutorial series. In our previous tutorial series, we made um, this little game of Hangman here using PyQt and Python. Um, in this series, we're going to change our data store of this um, this game. Our data store is previously a CSV file. We're going to change it to a database. We'll be using Python's built-in SQL Lite library, and we'll be assuming, therefore, an understanding of SQL. So if you don't have that understanding, you might need to have a little bit of a look at some tutorials in relation to learning the SQL language. Um, and I might as well say it now, SQL is pronounced um, SQL or SQL. Um, I use SQL um, because I was probably introduced into it when it was just a letter and not actually the names. Um, in particular, we'll be using a language, um, a version of SQL called SQLite. Um, there is different implementations. We will be using this because the great thing about SQLite is that it can run serverless. It can run on your computer. So you don't have to worry about running the server and connecting into it. You have a version, you have your database sitting on your computer which you can access and use here. Now, this is just a little introduction video. It's just going to be a little bit of housekeeping to get yourselves ready for our, um, for our tutorials to start from here. So there's a few things we need to do. First off, I want to organize our files. Um, now, um, if you're one of my students, the files will be up um, on Teams. Um, you can access it, but if not, there's a link below to a Google Drive where you can access the files. I have put not just the files that we are using for this game, uh, for these tutorial series, but I also have used the completed data store, um, um, the main file, test file and the hangman.py um, file up into there as well too so you can actually just pull those across if you haven't done the previous tutorial series um, and if you just really want to get into the whole database and SQLite thing. Um, so let's get started. What you particularly need to do is you want to include, you want to move into your main drive, you want to add in the hangman data store DB. That's a really important one. Um, we also want to hang hand in our new um, da -da 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 UI hangman. No, our da -da -da, hangman dot UI. You want to bring those two files in. Um, oh, actually, before I do, I want to copy the current hangman UI. CV so I don't lose it um, and therefore I'm going to bring the hangman UI in now and have the new one there and yes I do wish to replace it so I now have my new hangman UI I now have um, copied in I've copied my um, do, 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 original UI so I'm not going to lose that hangman copy I'm also going to copy my data store because we're going to be changing that CV and I'm going to be um, also copying my hangman file. Um, it's up to you whether you wish to do this. I'm doing these so I always have a previous version of the files to refer back to if I need to. Right, now you've done this. Make sure that with the change, if I run, um, if I close all those down and go back and run the hangman file, um, I want to make sure that it still runs and it's still operable. So let's see, a hangman file, which is here, which is a new one. If I run this, it still works. That's awesome. So those files are copied in and just replaced the other files there. And now we are set to actually go ahead and do our second tutorial.